Hi, this is Sergio from Clinic Sense Support, and I wanted to show you our new custom soap note template feature. As you can see, I'm logged into a test Clinic Sense account, and to access our custom soap notes feature, you have to click on Setup and select Treatment Note Builder. Once in the Treatment Note Builder, you'll see three included templates, which are the general note, the basic soap, and the detailed soap. And while you can't directly modify these templates, you are able to duplicate a template and then modify this custom template that's been created. Now this brings me to my next point, custom templates. As you see on the left hand side, there's now a new section for a completely new template. So let me go ahead and rename this one General Note 2. And then I'll save the template. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a completely fresh one. So I'll click on the Add New button on the left hand side. And here I'll have a completely blank template that I can work from scratch from. Uh, first, I can give it a name. So New Template. And then I can add questions or I can change the existing short answer question. I, if I click on the drop down, you can see there's a wide range of different question types to choose from, including um, range of motion, checkbox, or even a signature field. For example, I've selected a multiple choice question. I've typed in the question itself, given three multiple choice options, and then I have a few other settings that I can change to my needs. I can also use a really cool feature called display logic. So for example, I have a short answer here for a question that asks, where is the pain? I can enable the display logic, and then this question will only display if the answer to my previous question, how is the patient feeling, is in pain. So once I do that, I can save it. And this question will only be visible if I select in pain because of that display logic. I also have the option to rearrange my questions if I ever want to change the order. I can use the up and down arrows to move my question up or down the list. If you feel like you need a different section for your soap note, you can always add a new tab by clicking on the tab button at the top, and then you can give it a custom name. At this moment, I don't think it's necessary for our example, so I'll delete the tab by clicking on the delete tab button at the bottom left. And once you're done creating your new template, you can click on the save template button at the bottom right. So I hope that was useful, but if you need any help or have any questions, feel free to reach out at support at Have a good one. Bye-bye.